Good morning guys, I have really really dirty hair and it's tied up because I'm going to the hairdresser this morning so excuse me for that but I'm just going to get ready for the day and I thought I'd show you what makeup I'm doing I'm in the mood for doing nice makeup do you ever just feel like when you feel a bit gross I've had like a really weird week so far I just want to play around and make my makeup look nice especially because my hair is not nice For my base I've used the Makeup Forever Radiant Primer in yellow Estee Lauder CC Cream mixed with the NARS Sheer Glow. For my concealer, I've used the H&M Concealer in Vanilla, which I quite like. Not the best ever, but quite a good, like, cheap alternative to the Urban Decay one. And the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. And then I've set that all with my Chanel powder. Um, just because my skin's looking a bit weird at the moment, so this will give a little bit more coverage. For my colour, I've used Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer. Tarte um, Blusher in Exposed. And the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. For my eyes, I'm gonna use the Tom Ford Quad in Orchid Haze, which has a beautiful like light pink and a purple shades. Then use this Clinique Brown, um, what's it called? Slim Sable Eyeliner on the top and the bottom. And the Clinique High Impact um, Waterproof Mascara. And on my lips, I'm using MAC Fast Play, which is very pretty. Okay, so this is what my makeup looks like today. My hair is still terrible, but I'm going straight to the dry, by dry by I think it's called that. I'll film it when I get there. It's Mortimer Street um, near Oxford Circus. I'm gonna go for a quick wash and blow dry because you probably know if you follow me on Snapchat, I had a mole removed at my back yesterday and had five stitches. So washing my hair is a bit of a pain and I just thought it would be easier and a good opportunity to try it out. Oh my God, I've just realized that this plant is proper dying. Crap, I need to water that. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly have breakfast and then go. I'm taking these pills at the moment you have to take four times a day that you have to eat before you take them so I'm having to eat four times a day I don't even normally eat breakfast at all so I'm literally force feeding myself this bagel I'm so not hungry yet okay I'm ready to go I'm wearing this coat I always forget what the brand's called but it's in my Zalando video uh, white company jumper black jeans flat boots because I need to be comfortable and my Strathbury of Scotland bag and I'm very much looking forward to getting my hair blow dried and feeling clean Okay, the tube was absolutely packed, it's horrible, but I managed to find a stylist magazine which made it a bit more bearable. I'm just trying to find the hairdresser, and then I'm gonna sit, read my magazine, and have someone else wash my hair, which is just the best thing in the world, really. Okay, I'm out and I'm very happy my hair looks like me, which is basically what you want really. Um, I felt uh, very relaxing in there, you know when you go to hairdressers and they're just... Oh, there's a hair on my lens again. You know when you go to hairdressers and it's a bit manic and loud and hot, I hate that about hairdressers and that place was completely relaxing, they were really friendly and nice. Um, I do find that blow dry bars are better if you have naturally straight hair because they don't always get curly hair because the whole point of a blow dry bar is it's really quick, but curly hair isn't really quick. So that's the only thing. We won't move across the road. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the finished look and the lady was really nice. I'm just in Topshop and I've been looking for these Steve Madden boots everywhere because these are the ones I have in brown, but I need them in black and Topshop have them. And they come in half sizes as well, which is a miracle, so I'm gonna try six and a half. I'm so happy I got those, they're the comfiest boots ever. I'm now just gonna walk along to Bond Street because I'm going to the Chanel Spring Summer um, press event or just spring maybe and it's so weird to be looking at spring products when it's not even Christmas yet but they do it so far in advance because magazines work really far in advance. I just went into the Phoenix on Bond Street store through the beauty department and it was too awkward to vlog in there but they've redone the beauty department and it's amazing. It's like the most relaxed, nicest Mac counter ever and they've just moved everything around put it on a really nice place. It's very pleasurable to shop in so if you're ever near Bond Street go to the big Phoenix there. Um, I actually think it might be better than the self, just beauty hall now. to vlog but I just went into Space NK to get the Laura Mercier setting powder. I really want to try it, the loose one. 
um, and a mini Orbo dry texturizing and spray for my handbag and I'm going to walk back up to Oss Circus and then get the tube home I think. I might try and find a Christmas jumper along the way. Okay so I just got home and I've just really randomly booked in to get my ears pierced this afternoon at like quarter past five. I don't know I've been thinking about it for ages. I used to have my ears pierced um, and I used to wear like dangly earrings and then that kind of phase of my life really passed and I hated wearing earrings for ages. And now I feel like earrings are back in and kind of wearing studs are quite cool. And I feel like when I get married, I might want to have like some really nice earrings in. So I'm gonna go get my ears pierced. And I take my friend Maz, who's like the only other person I know that works for herself at the moment. And she said she can be free at like five o'clock. So yeah, they said I have to pay a bit extra if I want gold studs. And I think I really do because I'm really not a silver person. I might also get this one changed to be gold. Um, I'm a bit scared because I'm the sort of person my ears get infected quite easily. It was such a pain last time I got them pierced, but I'm just gonna go for it. It's like two for 25 pounds, I think. So I'm gonna get, I think, either two on each lobe or three on one and two on the other. I don't know, I'm excited, eek! It's so silly because I have to leave them in for six weeks and I've got so much coming up over the next six weeks. I'm gonna look really silly with like these like, you know, you get those special studs when you just get your ears pierced. I don't know, Rich thinks I'm mad. I just text him and he's like, why are you trying to put more pain on yourself? You have stitches in your back, your legs still hurt from working out. You've got cramps at the moment. I'm like, I don't know, but I wanna go, I'm excited. I like being spontaneous sometimes. So I've got a bit of time this afternoon before I go and have the piercings and I need to go down to my local Waitrose to pick up a John Lewis order. I didn't realise that you could order something from John Lewis and they send it to your nearest Waitrose to pick up. I think that's genius. I actually ordered, it's Bailey's birthday tomorrow. Didn't know what to get him. I suddenly feel so old, the fact that I have no idea what's like in with the kids these days. I asked Bailey and he was like, something to do with a minion? And I was like, I don't even know what that is. So I decided to get him a telescope because he's obsessed with the Man of the Moon advert, the John Lewis ad. I showed him the clip on YouTube and Jo just said she came down the next morning and he was just watching that advert on repeat, so like on loop. So I got him a telescope, not like a proper one, like a kid's one, but it looks pretty decent. So I'm gonna go pick that up. I need to go to the bank. I need to go and get some Christmas decorations. It's a bit annoying. I hate it when people start prepping for Christmas too early, but because I need to film my Christmas gift guides, I have to get a Christmas jumper and something to make my video look Christmassy. So I'm hoping that home base will have some kind of tree or something that I can put behind me when I film my Christmas gift guides. This looks exactly like what I need for my video. So this is what I'm going to get. I look like such a Christmas kino, like buying loads of Christmas decorations. I just spent loads of money on this, so I hope it looks good. Um, I've got my little Christmas tree back there. I think it's pretty cute actually. Um, but I do want to get a proper Christmas tree this year, so Rich is going to be like, why do you have two Christmas trees? But maybe I can give this one to Bailey to go in his bedroom or something. So now I need to go back home and try and figure out how to carry all this stuff, this stuff into the flat by myself. I'm just watching Casey's vlog whilst I... Oh, come on, pause. I was just like setting up some Christmassy stuff to kind of get an idea of where I'll sit. And I think tomorrow I'm going to have to just play around and figure it out, but I really like my little tree. Ow, it's really spiky, it keeps hurting me. Um, and these are lights, I think I went too extravagant on the lights. These are like proper industrial lights, but got this little cushion as well. So let's see what happens with that. This is the present I bought Bailey. Um, let's turn it the right way around. Telescope, it says you can properly like see into the stars and stuff. So I don't know, it comes with like a stand. I think he'll love it, hopefully. So I'm gonna wrap that up now. How old is that boy? Oh my god, he's really young. What age is this for? Oh, eight plus. Perfect. He's gonna be six. Okay, I'm just gonna have some pizza bread and hummus to make sure that I've got a full stomach when I get my ears pierced so that I don't faint. I tend to do that. This is such a weird thing to do, but I always, when I open like things like pizza bread, I put it in a sandwich bag, because otherwise, if you leave it like that, I feel like these bits always get hard and crusty, so it's better if it's all like sealed, and then it stays fresher for longer. So I'm just gonna do that. I feel like that's such a mum thing to do. I'm not a mum. Okay, I'm in Camden and I'm just walking to Cold Steel. Deb's recommended it, so she always goes for her piercings. I'm not allowed to film. Maz is here. Hi. She's gonna hold my hand and then I'll have to speak to you afterwards. Okay, piercings done. Three on that side, two on that side, and you changed that one for a gold one as well. And it did hurt, but it wasn't like terrible. I didn't faint like I did when I was 12. Um, now I just have to make sure they didn't get infected because I remember last time they got really infected so 
I'm going to try to do that. But Maz had a great time I had a learning all about the different piercings. There are some really interesting piercings <laughs> that people come in and ask for. One's called the triangle, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. You can Google it if you really want. Don't Google it. I would it. not recommend Don't Googling. Don't Google it at work. <laughs> Don't Google it at work. <laughs> We're going to go now. I think I'm going to take Maz to Yum Cha, which is like my favourite tea, favourite place for tea. I'm back in my car, um, and yeah. As I was saying, I don't know what I just said there, but um, it was a really nice experience. We're kind of joking around with him, but the guy who owns it, Cos, is a really nice guy, and he's been there for ages. So I would really recommend going to Cold Steel to get your ears pierced if you're in Camden, or to get anything pierced. My highlight is really showing in this car light. Anyway, I'm going to go home now. Rich, I told Rich I was getting my ears pierced. Um, I think he just thought one in each, so he might kill me. <laughs> Hopefully he'll be alright with it. Um, he actually didn't have to pierce the kind of first one because I had them pierced already. I just haven't worn earrings in like five years and he said he could just get a stud easily through that. So it kind of felt like I was just getting three piercings. But I'm excited to have them. I think it suits me. I don't really know. I took the chicken thighs out too late and they haven't defrosted. And I hate I hate defrosting chicken in the microwave. It freaks me out. So we're just going to go for tomato -y pasta instead. I'm just kind of frying off the onions and garlic. I'm going to add in some chopped tomatoes. We're going to have a very simple boring dinner but then tomorrow we can have a yummy chicken thighs. We've just discovered that The Affair season 2 is on catch up on our skybox. We're so excited about this so it's just making tea and we're going to watch like three episodes maybe if we have time. I'm going to end the vlog here. Well I'm going to end this day I'll vlog another day. I'm not sure when. It's Bailey's birthday tomorrow, so we're gonna go and have tea and I'm gonna give him the present. One of my piercings is looking a little bit bloody, so that's gonna be fun, cleaning that tonight. And I will see you guys on another day. Night. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning, and I was planning on vlogging today because I have quite a lot of stuff, and I think I am gonna vlog, um, because otherwise I just wouldn't have another day to vlog. But obviously you guys are aware of what the date is today, and last night, we heard on the news about the terrible attacks on Paris and I woke up this morning to hear even further terrible, terrible news. So I'm not going to be talking about it on the vlog today because it's just really not the place, I think. But please know, no matter what I do today or show the nice, funny clips or happy bits of the day, know that I'm thinking of everyone in Paris. I've checked with everyone that I know who's there and it's just so terrible what's happened. So... Just wanted to acknowledge that at the beginning of the vlog. I have quite a busy day today, quite a busy weekend actually, um, but I'm just gonna vlog today. This morning I'm meeting Debs and Hannah for brunch and then Gemma's gonna join us and I'm taking those three to my dress fitting, my wedding dress fitting. Well, it's not really the fitting actually, it's the like second appointment where I try it on and definitely decide if I want it or not and then order it. And it's going to be really special to have them there. I, I, there's so many people that I just would love to have there, but we're not having a huge wedding and I feel like everyone will see see what I'm wearing. So I'm just taking Hannah, Debs and Gemma and I'm really excited. I think Hannah might cry. She's definitely the crier out of all of them. My mum didn't cry, no one else cried. I'm so hungry, I can't wait for brunch. And then tonight we're going out to celebrate with Keisha because it's her like last night in London. So her and all her friends are gonna get together and go for dinner. And I think that's my day. We're just taking the car that has all the umbrellas in the boot and I'm walking in the rain. So this is my current situation. We had breakfast, but I forgot to vlog it. And I'm here with Rich, who's Hi. going. He's not coming with for the wedding dress bit, in case you wondered. Hannah's here, Debs is here. Hannah just loves the camera. <laughs> you can film me. And everyone's gonna comment. Debs has just started watching Broad Church. City. Broad, Broad City. City, which you everyone everyone always it. says Hannah looks just like the girl. Uh, yeah. No, but, no like, but I only saw it on the, on the, on the Google. <laughs> you look <laughs> on the exactly. Google. Like, uh, have you seen a picture of her? Yeah, look, I've seen this one. This is my favorite. <laughs> she does it. look like her. Um, I'm gonna unplug myself. We're waiting for Gemma to get home. You look exactly like this. Her. Look at this. What are you doing? You need to go to the party. Lily told Johnny me Kirk. that everybody um, was saying that I look like this girl, and I was like, who? I didn't. But oh, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hello. It's scary. Like, I can't even. I've never seen two people who look more alike. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh, the pressure. Hang on, the pressure. Are you gonna? Sorry, edit I, this? I can edit this bit out. You look particularly like her right now. It's because I got my specs on. And doesn't, your hair's really short. My glasses. Watch the show. In the in real life, she does. So okay. look. Fine. Oh, I follow her on Instagram. That's yes. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> Closer. 
That is so funny. It's so scary. Oh, she's your doppelganger. I'm available for lookalikes. <laughs> <laughs> Took us an hour and a half to drive here. And we're really, really late. So I only have a half an hour appointment, which I'm really grumpy about. But we're here and I'll speak to you guys when I'm out. Are you lot excited? Yes! So excited. <laughs> we're out and they love the dress. So, good news. Woo. We're all starving hungry, so we've come to Pho, which is a really nice Vietnamese place. And I'm going to eat everything on the menu. I've decided I'm going to end my vlog now because I'm going to a friend's house tonight that I don't feel like is very vloggable and I'm just a bit like tired of vlogging and instead of doing like really boring footage I feel like I should just cut it here while it's good. <laughs> Thanks for being in the vlog Hannah or should I call you Ilana? <laughs> um, that's all. I will see you on Sunday, maybe Thursday for a new video. Bye!